So Nintendo is being sued, as we've talked about a little bit. Evan, you actually wanted to talk about this on camera because it seemed to interest you a little bit with the whole thing, merely because it was it's kind of funny to a degree, because uh, when I look at it, it doesn't look like it has any real, I guess, merit. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, it. it's funny, but it's almost standard in, I guess, any kind of industry, and it's going to be more apparent in this one since it's at the forefront of a lot of people's minds as to what's going on. Well, what's great is they even uh, published the actual, like, like the actual proceedings and the, 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 the patent. Everything is filed now, the complaint. It's all public. And we'll leave a link down in the description if you just want to read through it. And uh, this definitely looks like something that maybe Leonard French could go through. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's interesting because if you don't know what we're talking about, Game Vice is a company who now makes kind of add-on accessories for cell phones. And they made a device called the Wikipad in 2012. And what this device was, it was just a tablet. It's been um, compared at times when it was being unboxed by another YouTuber to a, an iPad mini, for example. And what it did was it came with a very bulky, uh, very large piece at the bottom that the tablet slides into and then gives it a, you know, two joysticks, uh, physical buttons, essentially. And when you say right bulky, say. that thing is ridiculous. <laughs> well, you, you compared it to the Game Gear almost. It looks like the edge <laughs> of a Game Gear, like the outer area. So the idea here is they want some kind of, uh, I guess, reparations for, in their words, Nintendo, I guess, uh, going against their patent breaking their patent, copying off of them, essentially. Which their patent um, is basically just removable, attachable controller to a device. Yeah, we talked about how in 2015, this is before the Switch came out by a good bit, we even talked about here on the channel in the early days, uh, there was another device called the, it was the Morphous uh, uh, X300, and it had more of a similarity to the Switch than this one does, but they're not looking to sue Nintendo, which is which is interesting that this other place, uh, Game Vice, is over a tablet that really doesn't have a, a massive similarity to the Switch, whereas the other place with the Morpheus X300 has kind of uh, fell, fell into the background a little bit. The Switch is definitely more is definitely better than what we're seeing with any of these things. Yeah. Um, so now they're making accessories. They look back. They see the wiki pad. I assume they look at the Switch. They figure they have some sort of case in some way with um, with suing Nintendo for, in their words, uh, again, violating their patent. What's interesting is it seems like they are, right now, Game Vice is seeking a permanent injunction barring any sale of the Nintendo Switch. They want Switches to just stop being sold, which we, we looked at that and we thought it was one of the funniest things ever because th that's not happening. Yeah, that's the future of Nintendo. Not, I don't think a single investor in Nintendo will ever allow that case to go through. That's going to be stuck in litigation for a decade and a half. The, There's the, no we just, way. We talked about the 3DS uh, case that was recently, Nintendo won the appeal, but that started in 2011 and went all the way to 2017. Yeah, and the guy won, Nintendo appealed, and then Nintendo won. Nintendo won against an actual patent that that was that guy's device that was that guy's technology the 3d function to it and they just said no it's nintendo's fine with using it without getting any money f uh giving any money to you at all so yeah i was i was curious that maybe the guy is just so much money was spent in the litigation process that maybe he had to kind of give up i don't know um, i don't know the extent of that of that uh, entire case but what's interesting here is they want they want the switch to stop selling they want uh, a payout of some kind. Uh, in their words, they want plus damages, attorney fees, court costs, and anything else they can think of, standard fees. Maybe they got lunch that day, I don't know. Um, but either way, I look at this case and it looks it looks bad. It doesn't, it doesn't look like they have any, really, any leg to stand on here, and I have a feeling Nintendo will just kind of roll right over them. I don't... Well, the only arguments that could be made is they're going to focus on, oh, it's a tablet that has a controller attached to it. All it's going to take is Nintendo to show... 10 or even 12 other tablets of similar quality but like came out before them so it almost doesn't matter or even just bringing up that they've been coming out all over the place and then why are they focusing on nintendo if that's a thing if it's just some almost global function now for tablets to have detachable controllers or some kind of controller that you can hook to it i mean we even had cell phone attachment controllers at the store we worked at, like, God, eight years ago? Well, what's interesting is, uh, from what I'm seeing, that that device that their tablet slides into doesn't actually uh, communicate through connections to it. Yeah. It, it, just, it just doesn't. So, whereas the Switch, when they connect, it actually, like, locks in. So even if, even if the jury, because they want a jury trial, is uninterested in gaming, all it's going to take is a couple examples of, like, why it's different or why other things existed as well that are similar to it. They're just going to go, this is just a... BS case. We're not gonna, we're not gonna vote. We're not gonna go in their favor. We're just gonna 
throw it out, basically. Or every single person in the jury is going to have a switch. <laughs> yeah, so they, they actually want a jury yeah. case here, by the way. They want it to go to jury, and they want people to decide how this should go. <laughs> and yeah. it's, uh, I have a feeling most people are going to look at that, not be able to make the connection that they're even similar, because we as gamers look at it and we go, that doesn't look the same at all. <laughs> um, one looks bulky and uh, unwieldy, and the other one looks sleek, and, and it's two separate controllers, and they actually communicate through connections to the system, whereas the other one, I believe, was just a Bluetooth connection. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I don't think they'll win this case. I think Nintendo will easily. I don't even think they'll pay out a settlement. They'll just they'll just run right through them. I think so. Yeah. It shouldn't be an issue. But um, what do you guys think about the court case, though? I'm very curious what you think about this Game Vice versus Nintendo Game Vice v Nintendo. Uh, uh, situation here. Let us know down in the comments. Also, like I said, we will put a link to um, the entire filing. You can look at it. It's public uh, It's public knowledge now. Anyone can yep. see it. So it's down there for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.